We are back! Welcome back to episode 35 of the level 3 UAM Skiller. Um, I logged out straight after getting Nighttime Hunter, as you have seen in the last episode, and I took a break for a day. But we are now going to drop these feathers because we don't need them. And I'm going to head over to the Plaren House so we can store our Hunter Cape and Hunter Hood. As we're not going to be needing this, just going to be adding it to the collection. And uh, I think after that, what I want to work on is actually using up these Numulites to finish off the collection log for the... Um, the Fossil Island Notes book thing, um, because we've got plenty of Numulites, and once I've done that, I have no real reason to keep hold of these anyway. So we're going to head over to Burthorp, and we are going to go down to the Plaren House, so we can store off our equipment, and um, we can then take the balloon straight over to the lumber yard. Now, I am going to go and get some food from... Probably grab some teas, considering it's not far away, and it heals enough for me to sustain. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and get to Fossil Island, and we're going to use up these Numulites to, as, as I said, to try and get the pages for the book. Okay, let's add another cape to the collection. There we go. The Hunter Cape has been added. Um, apparently we can only hold five in here, and it's actually saying five now, which is concerning. Oh, I didn't think about this, but I don't think that includes these capes when it comes to skill capes. Um, We'll just find out after the next 99. Hopefully it's not a big deal. But if it is, I mean, I can just get rid of these skill capes and buy them back. It's not too big of an issue. Uh, I just like having them all in one place as it's nice and convenient. But we are now going to head over to Fossil Island by using the balloon. And let's go ahead and use up these Numulites. All right, so we're back on Fossil Island. We're going to go over and we should be able to get our book if we just talk to this person. Now, I know that I can easily just use the collection log on here, but I want to have the notebook so I can add them all to the book as and when I get them. Um, let's see how many we've actually got left to get. Uh, which one's collection log? Collection log. Oh my god, there's so many options on here. So, other fossil island notes. There it is. Oh, so we're actually only missing one. This shouldn't take long at all then. Um, does it say which one it is? I probably should have checked before I close that. Short note. That doesn't... Oh, it's, it's just called short note. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if you can get duplicates. If you can get duplicates, then maybe we will be here for a while. But if not, then this should take very little time. I thought that I had uh, quite a few more to get than just the one. That's why I prepared for the teas. But um, we've got 57,000 Numulites to get one page. I don't think this is going to be very difficult. Okay, time to start this incredibly long grind. Just kidding, this is going to take like no time at all. Okay, so that was literally the first attempt. And... Um, we got it. Well, I massively overprepared for this because this should now, oh, if I use this on here, should finish off the book. I don't know what this actually does, but it does mean we've finished this in the collection log now. So we can go ahead and just quickly have a look at this. I honestly misjudged how much left I had of this. I thought I was way off, but yeah, we now have 57,000 Numulites and nothing to do with them. I think I'm going to have a quick look and see what you can actually use them for, but honestly I don't think there is real much use for them. So after a little bit of research I've seen that the only real decent use for these right now is to unlock a area under Fossil Island in the underwater area, which means I'm actually going to go and get my scuba gear. Um, I think all I've got to do is go and talk to Murphy, I think his name is. Um, my minigame teleports on cooldown so we're going to have to use this instead. But we should be able to talk to Murphy and get our underwater gear back. And then we'll go underwater and we've got to talk to someone called Seto, I think it is. And you can unlock the fish hole area for 20,000 Numulites. And that gives you continuous access, you never have to pay again. And consider I'm going to drop these anyway, I might as well just invest them into something like this, just in case in the future if I decide to do some of this activity. I, I've looked into it and I don't really see any reason why I would. But maybe I want to do it to vary up some content or something, I could look into it and if I unlock the continuous access then it allows me to go there whenever I like and I never feel rushed when I'm doing it. So hopefully I should be able to talk to Murphy here and he should give me my scuba gear back. And I think I've got to talk to him twice. Let's do it again. And... There we go. Okay, so we've got our gear which is going to head back up to Fossil Island and we're going to go diving. Alright, back on the island. Let's put the equipment on. I think I have to go around, go down without anything in my hand so I can actually swim. And let's dive. Now, I haven't been underwater in a while. I actually have no idea where I'm going. According to the wiki, it's somewhere up here. Like I said, we're looking for someone called Seto. This person, right. So if we do pay, we should have an option to pay for permanent and 20,000. There we go. 
take my 20,000 amulets because they're going to go on the floor anyway. And now we can go in whenever we like. And apparently we're going to go in now. I mean, I wasn't planning on it. I didn't realise they were so close to the anchor, by the way. Otherwise I wouldn't have needed to go and get my scuba gear. But that didn't do too much. Um, I believe for this I need like some sort of jute fibre net or something. So I'm not going to attempt it now. But it is completely unlocked now, which is really nice. Whoa, my camera went really weird there. Anyway, that is the number lights used up. I can't see any other means of using these other than like paying for protection or something, but it's not really that big of a deal and I'm probably not gonna grow giant seaweed again anyway. We're gonna drop these because we don't need them and um, probably just gonna get rid of the number lights. So I know what a lot of you are gonna be thinking after I've hit 99 Hunter and that is how many fossils I have. And we actually have our fossil storage right here. So we're going to go have a look and see how many fossils we finished up with. Now, I, the last time I showed my fossils was quite a while ago, and we do have a significant amount of fossils. So if we open this up, that is what we have finishing off for our fossils. 199 small fossils, 118 medium, 85 large, and 20 rare. That is a lot of fossils, and it should be enough to fill out the museum. I don't quite remember how many you need. It does say on the wiki, and I'll have a look afterwards, but I think I've got enough. So just had a look at the wiki, apparently we need 70 small fossils, we've definitely smashed that one, we've only got 3 times as many as we actually need, we need 60 medium fossils, got about twice as many as we need, and we need 50 large, approximately we might need more, so 85 large should be enough to finish off the entire museum, and that is going to be a lot of Slayer XP. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some tools, and we'll start cleaning up these fossils and putting them back into the storage so that we can head over to Varrock and we'll be able to add all of the stuff to the museum. So we're just finishing off these small fossils now and given that I actually only need 70 of these, I've decided to leave the rest of them unidentified and just laying in the storage. And if I go over here, you'll be able to see I've left the mediums and the smalls in here. And the reason for that is because I can actually trade these in for numulates, I believe. I know I can do with these, I think I could do with these as well, but I don't need any more. And if I leave them like this, it basically means I have like a stored uh, section of numulites. So if I decide to do anything in the future that requires numulites, I can easily just get myself some by trading these in. And I don't need any more anyway. So we're actually going to just close out of this and put our graceful back on. Let's get rid of these items. And now we need to head back over to Varrock because we can finally go ahead and finish off the museum. I say finish off. We can just go and do the entire museum in one go because we have every single fossil that we need, I'm pretty sure. If I have to come back and do a few more fossils because I've messed up, then so be it, but I'm pretty sure I've done this correctly. So I'm gonna head over to the museum and I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, we are here at the museum. I believe we need to go down to the lower floor. Um, it's been a while since I even looked into doing this. And we should have all of our fossils in this storage here. Beautiful. So now all we've basically got to do is go and attach it to all the display units around the place. And um, well, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But for you, it'll be done right about now. Well, actually, not quite yet. What I didn't quite realize is you actually get the lamps as you finish the display unit. So what I actually did was I held off on the last fossil to complete every exhibit. So now I can just freely go around and finish off every single exhibit. So we're going to try and take as many of these as we can. And I'm just going to speed this up and show you guys me finishing off the entire museum. As well as using all the lamps on Slayer. So that is every single small fossil used up and we did a couple of mediums as well but we've got a whole invent of lamps here now let's do the very therapeutic thing and we're going to put all of these onto Slayer. I do have a tracker going so we can see how much XP this actually does give us but now we're just going to burn all of these onto Slayer. Okay, that's the first inventory completed. What level did we get to from that? 56. I actually have no idea what level I was before. I think 54. 
So we gained two levels from that. We gained 42,000 XP just from that invent. So we're going to go ahead and do the next run of fossils. So I've missed a medium fossil somewhere, and I'm not quite sure where it is. Um, the reason I've got extra large fossils is because I completely forgot that I actually have extra fossils of large. Um, we're going to grab some of the plant fossils so we can finish that one off. But I also need to find this last medium one that I've missed somewhere. And I think that might actually be everything in the entire museum. Um, I'm going to go and have a look afterwards, but I think I've covered everything. But this is our, now our second lot of lamps, so we're going to go ahead and use these, and these are going to give a lot of XP. And the last lamp to go on Slayer, another 5,000 XP, that's 120k Slayer XP we just gained. What level do we finish at? 59 Slayer. We are very, we're one level away from 60, which will look amazing on this skill tab. Considering I'm a level 3 and a, well, I say I never trained Slayer. Technically I did. Um, but no, being a level 3, unable to train Slayer. 59 Slayer looks so nice, and I'd love to get 60 just to round that out. I'm pretty sure I've finished the entire museum, but I'm going to have a quick check, and uh, I'll let you know when I'm back. Okay, so after rechecking, it seems like that is absolutely everything completed in here. And uh, I do have a few fossils left over. Like I said, I saved these ones for Numulites if I need them. With the large fossils, I just used all of them, because they are split down the middle as to whether you get plant or large fossils. And I wanted to make sure that I actually had enough fossils to complete it. But we are completely done with fossils, and I was really hoping that I could use all of these up to complete the uh, museum uh, while I was doing herbivore. I didn't expect I'd go that far over, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if there's anything extra you get from talking to Orlando or anything. Uh, he just says thanks. Oh, I got a hard task completed. Okay, I mean, I'm never going to be able to complete the diary, but that was pretty cool. What is that task? It is... Speak to Orlando Smith when you have obtained 153 kudos. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We've got 180 kudos. We're only 50 kudos away from max on a level 3. And I'm guessing a lot of these come from quests that I can't do. And maybe a few other things that I'm not able to access. I think I actually might have, excluding quests, the maximum amount of kudos I can actually get. Which is pretty nice. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Now, I know the next thing that you guys are probably wondering about. What's in the loot bag? Let's see the stacks of herbs. I didn't really show it in the last episode, I did a little bit halfway through, but I didn't show it at the end. So if we go now and check, there is all of the stuff that we have in the looting bag. 12.4 mil worth of stuff. Uh, that is a lot of herbs, we've got 2.8k guams, which is only worth 65.5k. But this is a lot of herbal that needs to be done, and I'm going to have to be getting a lot of secondaries before I go ahead and do this. So, as you guys might know, um, I'm planning to head over to the farming guild soon to use up all of these supplies. Now, before I do that, I actually want to stock up on some supplies myself. And that is because I actually plan to do farm contracts while I'm over there. And before I can do that, I want to go and get myself a bunch of tree seeds up until maples. And that's because the contracts that I'm looking into doing can go up to maple seeds. And every other seed that I need, I can actually get from the master farmer in the guild. So I'm going to be doing some birdhouse runs over the next couple of days and um, we're going to try and stack up on some tree seeds that we actually need before we head over to the farming guild. Okay, so I've been hopping around a bit and we've got ourselves 500 hammerstone seeds. This gives us 50 birdhouses worth of seeds and basically what I'm going to be doing is heading up to Fossil Island. I'm going to go grab a hammer and chisel. I think I can get them on Fossil Island actually, so I don't need to worry about that. But we're going to head up to Fossil Island and we're going to be doing birdhouses to get ourselves some of these seeds so that we can stack up. So while we're doing contracts, we don't have to worry about tree seeds. Okay, we're here on Fossil Island. I'm kind of hoping that they do sell. There we go, hammer and chisel so we can make the birdhouses. 
I'm not 100% sure what I need. I think I've got everything. And for convenience sake, I'm actually going to be using mahogany logs for these houses, as I can simply just chop down the mahogany logs here, and then I can go through and do the birdhouses whenever I need to. Now, what I'm basically going to be doing is, for the next maybe few days or something, I'm going to be staying here with these seeds until I've used them all up. And then we're going to stack up all the seeds that we have at the end with the tree seeds. And we'll be moving over to the farming guild, like I said, to do some farming contracts and work our way through the looting bag. Now, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be doing that pretty soon. But I am going to end off this episode here. As I said, I'm going to be working on these for a while and stacking up the supplies that we need. And uh, I'll see you guys when I've done all this in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please make sure that you hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does help me out. And I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.